Hey Capricorn. How are you? So uh, anyone new to Opal Oracle, welcome. Anyone returning, hi. Now, uh, Capricorn, welcome to Gemini season. Um, welcome to this space. You, Aries and Sagittarius, um, all receive this bamboo forest. And the brook. You are also the last sign. Okay. Again, which is interesting, Pisces, the 12th house, right? It's you self-undoing. You're still self-undoing, and that's good because self-undoing doesn't take a day, right? Um, I wanted you to just listen while I shuffle. I think it will relax you. Feel free to close your eyes and just not worry about anything, okay? Accept where you are. Know that it's a good place. No need to be afraid. You are safe. You are loved. And you are protected. Okay? The full moon is in Sagittarius, <clears throat> coming up soon. I think it's tomorrow. So you no longer, um, you're in a position right now where there's so much honesty about, like only honesty is allowed. Um, because there's healing that's happening during this Gemini season. And how that's actually happening is you understanding how amazing deconstruction is, okay? How that makes room to build whatever it is that you want. You can only build little things in confined spaces. It's important to bend, okay? That's another reason I'm probably in this bamboo, okay? It's about, can you bend with it? But like, how stable is the foundation, okay? You have to be honest with how you like, Sagittarius just got this too. Again, you're in the same environments with similar energy. Um, if you contain yourself, who you are, who you think you're, who you really are in comparison to who you think that you're supposed to be, Well, I see if you understand what I'm saying and this relates to you, you can absolutely close that out, right? Like, not that you won't still have you, right?
And I think that that's a part of it too, is right now you are, there's a lot of people around you or there's going to be a lot of people around you and you can use that as a tool to be able to close this cycle, close whatever this cycle is out, right? Particularly in your ego and I sense it in the way that you are perceived by people, by the outside world because look at all these people and none of them are you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? How do you play into this situation is the question. Okay? And I see once you, the observation again of people around you, of the beautiful differences of you and them, and like seeing like maybe a way that you think you're not allowed to be, you see someone else doing it, well, cool. That shows you that that's possible. That you can do anything that you want because Capricorn doesn't ultimately, your sun or whatever, your moon or whatever your how you're gaining the messages through the, the essence and, and energies and, uh, through Capricorn, it's like, It's like in a way, some of you want to retreat in some sort of way. Um, like maybe for some of you it would be really good to retreat. Because what is a treat? But something that like, you know, a treat generally is never a bad thing. You know, unless we're treating someone badly, but we're retreating. So we're treating something again, and to treat something generally, you know, you can treat something medically, you can treat something however you want to. But I see that it's important for you to check in with how you treat yourself, and through that, and I heard the word comparison, like kind of, well, how does... How do they treat, how do they treat themselves? I heard, how do other people heal? There's a lot of fire and energy in the in the undercurrent of your reading, okay? Which is good. It shows me that you have ability. It shows me that you have passion. It shows me that you are gaining. You really are ex uh, excelling in how you are starting to perceive your own energetic self, your own self period, and how that plays into the world. You're gaining higher perspectives about it, right? And your strength is, is that you're excited, you're, if you want to, you can be really excited about this new prospect of where it is that you're going because you go from the page right to the night, and then the bottom of the deck is looking right over it, there's the king. So there's like this really sweet progression but I don't sense any of these as like super masculine, even though they're males. It's just like the, the essence of the external of this, right? And the maturity of it. Maturity of external expression of self. Because this is you now, this is your inner child. You have to, you have to do both for yourself throughout life. Why people become grumpy, whether you're young or old, it's like, it's because you're just doing this kind of stuff. You're just sitting there, sitting at work, sitting on your bum, doing whatever, doing things that, you know, he has all the ability and passion to do whatever he wants, but when he's not actually doing it,
well that can I see that that can cause um, sadness in a way um, so for some of you your partner or people that are really close to you but in essence I guess I could say this is for everyone is creativity really does heal so much you know it's so important for each each of us are an artist whether we believe it or not you know again maybe you make wonderful clothes maybe you're a gardener maybe you fix uh, cars maybe uh, you crochet I don't know whatever it is that you do read tarot shoot you know as an example I'm a, generally a physical artist I really like to well, I like collaging a lot. I've always liked mixing found objects and sort of that sculpture, like three-dimensional more sculpture. I um, also like making clothes and things like that. Generally, there's some sort of physical... I attach my creative artistic self to the physical result of it, right? But with tarot, when I started doing this and focusing a lot of energy into this new thing I was learning, right? Um... At first, I still sort of had the mentality of like, I'm not really being creative. You know, it, it, it did emotionally fill me, but I still had this like, again, there wasn't quite a maturity to, oh wow, I am actually being creative in this process, even though it's invisible in a way. It doesn't stay tangible. Like think about a restaurant. I don't know if any of you have ever worked at one, but when you work there, when you come in, it's as if no one had been there. And then when you leave, you have to make it, and then you're there the whole time. You're doing all this stuff, doing all this crazy hard work, right? And at the end of the night, the close of that, it's like you have to make it look like no one had ever been there. So it's about cleaning it up after doing all the work. So I see that the ego, even if you were like, yeah, I got to do that, there is still... Again, because there's a progression of maturity, it's a step-by-step -step process. You have no pentacles here, so I want you to make sure that you keep um, patient in this process with yourself, okay? Also keeping patience with those around you. And remembering that you are important, but not from an egotistical stance, because then you'll never close this out. I don't necessarily sense that for all of you, it's just something to remember. You know now I want to read this one to you look at that cool bird it looks like a like a harp right maybe harp music would be nice to listen to it's it's called the liar the the Lear bird l y r e b i r d it says the end of a situation which after a the initial trauma has been overcome will lead to future positive positive developments detachment from the old frames of thought okay the need to cut off dead branches interesting because I know I mentioned this in Sagittarius but there's a few bamboo in here that are dead right and when they die, they're, they're still sort of supported by what's still growing until it's completely ready to just fall to the ground and become back into earth, right? Like cleaning it up. And you have the Empress here in the future also with, with this Lear bird, okay? And look, this bird, they're both facing the future, okay? And I see that you become stronger. I see that you become bigger. I see that you become more in tune with your feminine. I see that you, you really do grow. And look, it's, it's looking right into the future at the owl. Okay? Gaining more wisdom and, and, and strength in your own intuition. Okay? There's nothing wrong with going backwards. There's, I heard there's nothing wrong with beginning again. You know what I mean? New starts are awesome. And didn't we talk about this? You were like, uh, in May. And maybe the mid-May. I'm not sure. The one that had the tower. Yeah, it was May. Full May, May full one. And it's like, you know, you generally like things kind of slow, but the tower's super fast. 
But that change is good for you. The reason why the tower comes for anybody, or I'm not saying I see that, but what I'm saying is, again, didn't we say something about deconstruction, the importance of that? <clears throat> you know? Because you're changing and it's so good. Mother Nature, God, the Creator, whatever you want to call it, is not going to put you in a position that is not for your highest good. Yes, we have free will to go against the grain. But that's a waste of energy and you'll know when you're doing that because you won't feel, if you're really in tune with your body, you're going to be like, that isn't where I'm supposed to be. You know? And that'll help you to see and help others to, you know, you'll be around more people that are in tune with that same flow that you are. You know, I also see, because I went to this bamboo, even though I'm in the middle of the forest, like a, a you know, like an evergreen mountain, mountain world here, it's cool, uh, there's something about travel too, because you also came after Sagittarius, right? That'll help you do some self undoing, even if it's just going for a walk to the closest mountain, you know, or finding like when I used to live in Maine, as an example, it, it's all, you know, there's ocean there and there's forest, but there's also a desert, you know, and it's like finding these sort of anomalies, like natural anomalies, but finding them fascinating and beautiful, inspiring, right? Now. I am teaching myself runes. Do you want to learn with me? I made myself this little pouch and I made the runes. Capricorn. Okay. Hold on a second. You receive strength. This is Uruz, U-R-U-Z. Wow, I just thought that this branch was a snake. I just saw a snake. But it wasn't trying to attack me, it just moved, okay? So it's reminding you that this strength, you have to have strength in this transformation, okay? You have to have strength in shedding these parts of you that have been formed by who it was that you were around and understanding that the top five people that you hang out with represent who you are. It reflects who you are, okay? Shedding is good. Shedding means growth, okay? It's in growth is not always easy. Think about this. I was just telling Sagittarius, each one of these is time, okay? Look how big this one is, how much it grew. Then we look at this one, and it's only this big, you know? Everything grows at its own time. What did I say earlier? How do others heal? How do I heal? How do others heal? Everyone is on their own path, but you can coexist together, okay? If you please. You also received Iwas, which is movement. Okay, just like that snake. Don't be afraid of where it is that you're going, okay? Because I also mentioned Sagittarius. Interesting, I guess they have a message for you, but... Um, Being more fluid about it, going around your obstacles, but like sensing them before they're even in your way. You know what I mean? Not letting it affect where you're going. You know what I mean? This stands for strength manhood, womanhood, and also the wild ox, okay? It's, this rune is the rune of terminations and new beginnings. 
Drawing Urus indicates that the life that you have been living has outgrown its form. The form must die so that the new energy can be released in a new form. This is the rune of passage and as such the part of the cycle of initiation. Okay? Positive growth and change, however, may involve a descent into darkness as part of the cycle, right? For the cycle is perpetual in this renewal. As in nature, this progression consists of five aspects, death, decay, fertilization, gestation, rebirth. Events occurring now may well prompt you to undergo a, undergo a death within yourself. Since self-change is never coerced, we are always free to resist. Remain mindful that the new life is always greater than the old. Prepare then for opportunity disguised as a loss. It could involve the loss of someone or something to which you have an intense emotional bond. This, with Iwas on it, movement, right? It's, it's, it's confirming and reaffirming that. And though which you are living, which you are living a part of your life, a part that must now be retrieved so that you can live it out for yourself. In some way, that bond is being severed, a relationship radically changed, which of course can be, again, my babes, that relationship with herself is so crucial and is reflective, right? For a certain way of life is coming to an end. Good. Seek among the ashes and discover a new perspective and a new strength. Learn to ad adapt yourself to the demands of such a creative time. Firm principles attached to this rune, so you can still keep your kind of Capricorn structure, right? But be open-minded about it, really. That Queen of Swords is important to this process, okay? It says, And although firm principles attached to this rune, at the same time, humility is called for. For since in order to rule, you must learn how to serve. Urus puts you on notice that your soul and the universe support your new growth. Yay. That's awesome. Now let's see. Let's see Iwas. What page is it? 125. It's movement, progress, and also the horse. It says, Iwas is a rune of transit, transition, and movement of physical shifts. It also signifies movement in the sense of improving or bettering any situation. There is, uh, there is about this rune a sense of gradual development and steady progress, which you like. With the accompanying notion of slow growth through numerous shifts and changes, which you sort of don't like. But we have this conne connection, right? So it makes it easier to balance. It says this could apply to the growth of a business or the development of an idea. A relationship may need to go undergo changes if it is to live and grow. Moral effort and steadfastness are called for when you draw movement especially uh, as it is one of the cycle runes. Okay. That tree just like threw a branch down on the ground. Cool. It says, let it be said this way. As I cultivate my own nature, all else follows. Right? So you're growing. And this growth needed more space because it's for your highest good, right? Well, then that one thing got out of the way. 
good. It says this rune symbol, as it is also the horse, signifies the bond between the horse and the rider, right? You, your energy, and your body. It says you have progressed far enough to feel a measure of safety in your position. Now is the time to turn again and face the future reassured. Prepare to share the good fortune that comes your way. The sharing is significant since it relates to the sun's power to foster life and to illuminate all things with its light. Okay? It's really powerful. You know? Really powerful. Because this also being manhood, womanhood, and landing upon the page in your strength is like, well, for some of you, this can be a strong connection to learning about you and people younger than you, how you, how that works out, the, the elder to the, to the, the younglings is what I heard. Um, but it's also you, your adult self to your inner child, right? Like being more into, and that's where the adventure comes in. Like, again, go find an anomaly. Find an anomaly in yourself and be excited about it. And if you find a blockage, well, just know that you're like, if you know what the blockage is and you're working towards closing out the cycle, well, then you will. And then you can fly as free as you want with more wisdom and know-how and willingness To know that, again, just because you're a Capricorn, whatever that all means, doesn't mean you, you only have to be one thing in a certain kind of way. You're all kinds of things. You know? And that we are all kinds of things. There's no better or worse or... It's just a way to learn how to love ourselves better love the world better love mother nature better be happy for what we have be really grateful for what we have for all that we've been through and how exciting it is th these cycles that we go through because growth is ascension you know getting out of the root chakra that's what Uranus is all about too. You know, they want everyone to have fun, this yellow. Have fun, remember? Remember? Remember that? All right, I love you so much. Please take care of yourself. Go somewhere, do something, have fun. Have fun. Life's short, have fun. <laughs> okay? Love you, bye.